Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 13th of 2023. Well, it is titled moons across Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, here we will see a short video clip and it will show Jupiter as well as several of its moons. Now with Jupiter, we'll see the great red spot, which is the largest storm in the solar system and has actually been continuously observed for over 150 years now and may have existed even longer than that. There are reports of observations going well back into the into the late 1600s. So it could be the very longest lasting storm that we have ever seen. Now with the moons are Io and Europa. Iowa is the darker tinged one a little bit behind the closer Europa, which is lighter colored. Now as we play the video, let's go ahead and look at that and we will see watch the moons and you'll be seeing that Europa appears to be overtaking Io as they orbit around Jupiter. Now they're not going to crash into each other. Remember that there's a great distance in between them. So we're seeing them here projected against one another. But essentially what we see is an eclipse. And what we see is that Europa has partially eclipsed Io, blocking out a small portion of its light. And that can occur with any objects that one can block out the other's light. So we're used to talking about eclipses in terms of the moon blocking out the sun's light or the Earth blocking out the light of a moon, the moon during a lunar eclipse. Now, as we watch these, we note that it appears that Europa is overtaking Io. That's actually not the case because of the way the Cassini spacecraft was moving. It was cha the camera location is changing and gives the appearance that Europa is passing Io, even though Io is actually in a much closer orbit and moving much faster. So in reality, Io is moving faster, but because the spacecraft was moving at such a high speed as well, and that the camera position continually changed, really, it is Europa that is moving slower. Now we see that they are these moons are both comparable in size to our own moon, Io being almost the same size as our moon, Europa being a little bit smaller. And when, when we look at the structures, we note that Europa is a very icy moon. That's a great icy surface that we're looking at. And it is very bright because of that. Io, on the other hand, is extremely volcanic. And we can see sort of a reddish tinge to it because of all the volcanic eruptions that occur on it. In fact, Io is the most volcanically active object in the solar system, far more active even than our own Earth. So here we see both of those two moons as they progress in their orbits around the giant planet Jupiter, in this case passing in front of the great red spot, the largest storm known in our solar system. So that was our picture of the day for June 13th of 2023. It was titled Moons Across Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be interstellar predator. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.